to church, but you're not really saved because you don't go on a Saturday. Or you're not baptised in Jesus' name. Or something else that comes along that you should be doing. And all of a sudden, you don't, you're not rejoicing anymore. You're not enjoying your salvation anymore. Because you've been troubled. And Paul said that there are some that will there are some that trouble you. Let me just read that let me just read that to you again. Galatians 1, uh, I was reading from verse 3. I marvel that you are soon removed from him that called you unto the, the grace of the gospel to, unto another gospel, which is not another gospel, but there be some that trouble you. And there are people in there, that, they're not interested in going out and reaching the drugs. They're not interested in reaching the drug addicts. They don't bother with the, but once you become a Christian, you become a target. Because now they want to get you. And there are some groups, or some cults, that are made up purely of people that came out of churches. The Jehovah Witnesses, 90% of them came out of churches. The Seven Day Adventists, the Jesus Only Movement, are oneness groups. That's what they call themselves. These are mostly ex-Christians, because they target Christians. And they tell you, you're not safe, because you're not. And that's why it becomes an evil, it be, and, I'll, and I'll explain why it is an evil doctrine. There is one group that we want to concentrate on. And this group, like other groups, they teach that salvation is based on works. Your salvation is based on what you do. They teach that in order to be saved, Jesus is not enough. The death and resurrection of Jesus is not enough. In order for you to be saved, you have to find some man to take you into the water and baptise you in Jesus' name. And unless you can get a man to say, in Jesus' name, you lost for eternity. Now this is a sad thing is that there are people today that God has wonderfully dealt with in their life. They've come off drugs. They are living a holy, righteous life. They are attending the house of God regular. They are living clean, respectable lives. But these people tell them that they are lost. Because they, have, because they didn't get a man to say, in Jesus' name. Their salvation depends on the words that come out of a man's mouth. When he, but I want to tell you, my salvation isn't based on the words that come out of anybody's mouth. My salvation is based on the fact that Jesus died for my sins 2,000 years ago and rose the third day. And whether a man says in Jesus' name, or doesn't say in Jesus' name, I am not lost or saved by what comes out of your mouth, your mouth, or a, a, a mouth of a man that's got a black robe and a white collar. My salvation is based on, I, I've got one person that I rely on for my salvation, and that is Jesus, not a man who baptises me. Amen. I'm relying on one man. There is one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. There is one person who, who is saved. She said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And yet the Jesus only people say, yeah, no man can come to the Father but by me. And you can't come to Jesus unless I say, in Jesus' name, rubbish. That's absolute nonsense. And it's a sad, and it's a sad that so many people have been deceived by this heresy. I want to make a few things clear here, first of all. I am not saying that baptism in Jesus' name is evil. I am not saying that, I'm not saying the name of Jesus is evil. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that people that tell you that you're lost because some man 
didn't, oh, you're lost, you're on your way to a lost eternity because you weren't baptised in Jesus' name. That's where it's wrong. Now, there are some people that baptise in Jesus' name who do not believe that everyone who is not baptised in Jesus' name is lost. There are some people that baptise in Jesus' name who are willing to accept that people that are baptised in Father, Son and Holy Ghost are still saved. <laughs> and there are some people that hold to the Trinity who also baptise in Jesus' name. I met one minister who is a Trinitarian and he baptised in Jesus' name but he does not believe that baptism is a means of salvation. So I'm not saying that everyone that bapt baptises baptism in Jesus' name per se is evil. But I'm saying it's an evil doctrine when you tell people that they are lost on their way to a lost eternity because somebody didn't say in Jesus' name. Does anybody really believe that my salvation is dependent on the words that come out of somebody's mouth? That is a sad reflection. That's where it becomes... And I want to deal with this because there are many that are being deceived. And you always know those people. You always know them. You come up and, sit and you greet the Christian and, they, and the first thing they ask you is, what were you baptised in? Or, if it's a seven day Adventist, what day do you worship on? So you always know they've got an agenda. You always know that because it's the first thing they bring up. When they, when they say to me, what were you baptised in? I say, water. And I won't, I won't go any further than that, because I don't think it's any of their business. And I won't get caught up in that kind of uh, nonsense. So I know where they're going. I know, as soon as they ask that question, I know who they are. Because, you know, you wouldn't think about asking that question. You never hear a person who's baptised in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost say, what were you baptised in? It's only these extreme, hyper, Jesus-only groups... And in fact, they will also teach that even if you're baptised in Jesus' name, you're not saved. So one minute they tell you you've got to be baptised in Jesus' name to be saved, and then they will tell you that, well, even if you're baptised in Jesus' name, you're still not saved. Because you've got to be, you've got to be filled with the Holy Ghost and speak in tongues. And unless you speak in tongues, you're not saved. So what happens in, the, in, in these churches is they get people to try to get you at any cost to speak in tongues. That means working your mouth up and down. Shouting in tongues in your face. Telling you, hold on, brother. And the other one says, let go. Now, I believe in speaking in tongues, but I do not believe that is the evidence of salvation. And Jesus never did say, tarry there in Jerusalem and you would be saved. When the Holy Spirit came out, it wasn't to save people. He said, tarry there in Jerusalem and you would be enjoyed with power from on high. He didn't say, receive salvation. They was already saved. You see, you receive the Holy Spirit when you are born again. You are born of the Spirit. The wind blows where it whisks. So is every man that is born of the Spirit. So you are not born, you are not, re you are not regenerated. You are not saved when you go into the water. You are not saved because some man says in Jesus' name. Let me tell you, friends, you are saved. Your salvation is dependent purely on Jesus. Purely on Jesus. Nobody else. Can you just imagine that you could be lost for eternity because you couldn't get a man to say in Jesus' name? That's silly. And it's not scriptural. This teaching implies that Jesus did not actually achieve salvation on the cross. By implication, what they are saying is, Jesus, when Jesus died on the cross, he didn't actually save anybody. He just made it possible for you to be saved. But you're only really saved when you go in the water and someone says in Jesus' name. So basically, they're saying it's Jesus plus the man that baptises you and the words, of, the words that come out of his mouth is so important. In fact, there was a, in fact, I know a group over here in London that went to a church, they were baptised in Father, Son and Holy Ghost, and some of them said, well, you've got to be baptised in Jesus' name to be saved. So they, they went out and they got them baptised in Jesus' name. And then someone else came along and said, no, it's not in Jesus' name. 
Because in the Bible, they baptise in the name of the Lord Jesus. 